Mike, Ian McPherson will spend at least the next five years in the secure psychiatric unit of the state prison after pleading not guilty by reason of insanity today to two counts of attempted murder. Prosecutors say McPherson robbed the gas station in Manchester in May of 2016. The following night, Officer Ryan Hardy saw a man who matched that description and began to question him. Prosecutors say that suspect was McPherson, who pulled a gun on Hardy and shot him in the face, neck, and back. As police swarmed the area about a half hour later, Officer Matthew O'Connor saw McPherson and tried to stop him. Officials say McPherson fired again, hitting O'Connor in the leg. McPherson was arrested a few hours later and agreed to speak with police, who said he gave a bizarre statement about fictitious crime families, software, and mind control. He was diagnosed as delusional and psychotic. This is a really, really, really sad case. I was convinced by Dr. Dirktinus' reports um, that there were delusional, paranoid thinking. That's a really bad mixture, delusional, paranoid thinking and a 40 caliber handgun. Judge Shulman also, also praised the bravery of the officers today, saying that they knew McPherson could be armed, and still they ran toward that danger. Reporting live in Brentwood, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9. Now, before accepting the plea, the judge acknowledged the bravery of those two Manchester officers who were shot while on duty. WMUR's Jennifer Crompton spoke with the chief and continues our live team coverage now. Well, there were about 50 members of the Manchester Police Department in the courtroom showing their support during that plea and sentencing. Chief Willard calls his officers a very close-knit group and says some who were there today were also working the night shift during that encounter with Ian McPherson before, during, and after the shootings. Chief Willard calls officers Hardy and O'Connor humble, brave men who wanted to see justice served and did so today. You know, to lead a, a group of men and women that are so courageous and so heroic and so selfless, uh, and they're doing it for the betterment of their community, mm -hmm. and, and truly, uh, potentially at the expense of their own families. Well, the chief says he spoke with Ian McPherson's parents here today to tell them that this wasn't their fault and that the department's thoughts are with them. He believes that Ian McPherson will be committed for the rest of his life. Reporting live in Brentwood, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.